What's up, YouTube? So I had someone uh, message me and say, well, why did they eliminate transmission fill tubes and dipsticks? Well, what their goal is, is to reduce their cost of building you a car um, and then inconvenience you in the, in the other end of it. So they were going to save millions and billions of dollars by eliminating two pieces. Right? They either eliminate the whole entire stick, they eliminate the tube, or they just put a little dummy cap over to every manufacturer's little dis difference. So engineering costs are gone, uh, labor costs are gone, material costs are gone, cost of the vehicle still going up, not going down. Same, similar to like solar. Solar is everywhere, but are, is your utilities going down? <laughs> no, it's not. Solar panels everywhere, um, giant, uh, Turbine windmills everywhere and cost of energy is still super expensive. You tell me um, And then just like this car here The chassis is made to accept a torque mount, but this model does not come with one But the model prior year to this does so they said well It's an economy class car. So what if the engine vibrates a little bit more? So what that if it rips up the motor mounts more the customer is only going to be forced to repair those if they actually repair it, which is drives more revenue into the service department. Um, and that's where they make their most money is, you know, you coming in and fixing things. Um, and then, you know, if you can't check your transmission fluid and the guy at your service center doesn't know how to do it or whatever the case may be, you are forced to go to the dealership and spend $175 for them to diagnose your car and try and help you out. So do the math, $175 current price at the dealership times millions of vehicles millions on top of you need a transmission on top of you need motor mounts on top of you need of uh, your repair work um, so that's that's pretty much it it's, you know, the vehicle manufacturers really necessarily don't have your best interests they keep eliminating things on your end and think about uh, parking brake systems um, most cars today have a push button so they eliminate the hand crank, they eliminate the console mechanisms, they eliminate the cables, they eliminate all those high cost and labor intense jobs. Now they're just replaced with wires and a button, which are more phone, prone to fail, right? Because you're gonna spill stuff in your car, most people do. You're gonna short out your shifter, you're gonna short out your parking brake switch, so on and so forth. So their goal is to engineer failure and keep you coming back. Um, and that's it. Uh, and like I said, just like solar, I haven't seen my electric bill go down uh, at any any place or any properties. All I keep seeing is energy costs going up. So, you know, who's reaping the benefits from solar? Think about that. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this channel big time. Thank you.